Hey everybody, I'm Justin with AmericanMuscle.com and this is my detailed review of the CPE Exhale Cold Side Intercooler Piping with your choice of either HKS or Tile Blow-Off Valve, fitting your 2015 and up EcoBoost Mustang. So this kit from CPE is going to be for the EcoBoost owners out there who are looking to upgrade the cheap plastic factory cold side piping, add that aftermarket blow-off valve to get a little bit more sound, and put that blow-off valve in the correct location on the cold side piping as opposed to the hot side piping where the factory blow-off valve is located. And I just want to be perfectly clear here about this part, guys. This is more about the upgraded materials, the addition of that aftermarket blow-off valve and sound, as opposed to adding a performance part, as you're really not going to see much of any gains with this kit. But with that said, let's break it down a little further. The Exhale kit from CPE is going to be a top shelf kit. You are going to be paying a little bit more for it up front, but you are getting some unique features, so you do have to factor that into the price. First, let's start with some of the basics here. Again, you are upgrading that cheap plastic factory cold side piping with a nice piece of two and three quarter inch mandrel bent aluminum finished off in your choice of either a satin black finish like I have on the table here, or you can also pick it up in a race red finish on the site. In addition to the upgraded intercooler piping, you're also getting brand new four ply silicone couplers along with a few very nice T-bolt clamps, but that's pretty much the basic stuff. As far as what makes this kit unique, well, here we go. Let's first start with the centerpiece of the kit. According to the guys at CPE, it's their map tap system. This is going to tap into your factory intake manifold, deliver a very accurate boost reading, but more importantly, it's gonna supply vacuum to either the HKS or tile blow-off valve as they are vacuum operated as opposed to the factory blow-off valve, which is electronically controlled. Another unique feature with the Exhale kit from CPE and something that I think is actually really cool is that they include two pre-welded eighth inch NPT bungs here on their cold side piping and you can use this in a number of different ways. Probably the most popular way would be to use it for a water meth setup, for instance. You could also tap nitrous into these things or even use it for a mechanical style boost gauge if that's what you're looking for. So again, big thumbs up for me. And it's these small little things that CPE typically throws in that separates their products from some of the other options here on the site. Earlier I mentioned that CPE does move the blow off valve location to the cold side piping here. And because of that, they do include a block off plate called their blocked plate. Nice piece of CNC billet aluminum. Again, it's gonna plug the hole left by your factory blow off valve located on the hot side piping. So why do that? Why move the blow off valve in the first place? Well, according to CPE and most other popular opinions on the topic, you ideally wanna have the blow off valve as close to the throttle body as possible to prevent any airflow reversal first but also to prevent a surge at the compressor to save your turbo and its bearings from excess abuse. Speaking of those blow-off valves, I really do think that's gonna be the biggest appeal when making the switch to this kit because everybody loves that blow-off valve sound with a turbo car. And by making the switch to an aftermarket blow-off valve, which does vent to atmosphere, as opposed to being recirculated like your factory blow-off valve, you're really gonna hear that noise whenever you shift or you do a big rev. You do have a couple of options with the CPE kit here again when it comes to blow-off valves. You can either go with the HKS Super Sequential, probably one of the most commonly used blow-off valves in the turbo world, or you can go with my personal favorite, the Tile Sport Q, and this thing is available in a few different colors here at AM. By the way, should point out that if you are just interested in a blow-off valve, you can grab either one of these separately on the site here for a little cheaper than this kit. With that said, again, you are getting two totally different sounds from each blow-off valve, so to help you make your own decision when buying, we threw together a couple sound clips for you. With the sound clips out of the way, let's quickly touch on install. Really not looking at anything too crazy here, guys. So for that, an easy one out of three wrenches. On my difficulty meter, you can access everything you need to through the engine bay. No need to jack the car up or anything like that. As far as tools, well, basic hand tools here, socket set. If you do go with the HKS option, make sure you have a pair of snap ring pliers on hand before getting started. But other than that, basic hand tools in about an hour from start to finish, and you should be good to go. While you really aren't gaining a ton of performance from the Exhale kit from CPE here, you are getting the benefit of running one of two most popular blow-off valve options, giving you that desirable sound. You're getting a noticeable improvement in quality materials over the factory part, 
And finally, you're getting those CPE exclusives, such as the map tap system and the two 8th inch NPT bungs, making this a very well-rounded part for the money. So be sure to check out more from CPE for your EcoBoost Mustang here at AmericanMuscle.com.